Hello students, I welcome you all to my channel Engineers Academy. Do subscribe Engineers Academy if you haven't done it yet. Now we are going to solve these two problems which says that determine the moment of the force F about the door hinge at A. And the second problem it says that determine the moment of the force F about hinge at B. Express the results of uh, both the moments about point A and B as a Cartesian vector. So we need to find the cross product of the force and the moment arm. So to find the moment about point A, we can define the moment arm from A to C. We can define the moment arm from A to C. The moment arm is any position vector from the point of rotation to the point to any point on the line of action of this force. We can define as many uh, moment arm position vectors is much we can right so let's say that this is my position vector from a to c this is my position vector from a to c we can define one another uh, moment arm or position vector from a to d since this position vector is from the point of rotation to the point on the line of action of this force so we can say that we can select this as a moment arm for this f vector so and then this force f this force f is acting from c to d so to find the cross product the moment about a we have to find the position vector from a to c which is the moment arm for this force f and the cross product with the four the cartesian force vector so we have to find force vector and the position vector from a to c so now the position vector from a to c is we can find the position vector from A to C by traveling along X, Y, and Z from point A uh, to reach that point C. So from point A, we need to travel this distance in the positive X direction. So from A to here, this distance is uh, 5 plus 1.5. So this is 6.5 feet. So 6.5 feet in the positive X. So we can write that this is plus 6.5 in the positive x or in the positive i and then once we reach here we have to travel this distance so this distance this distance is uh, since this if we consider this right angle triangle and so the hypotenuse of this triangle is four feet the edge of uh, this uh, top is four feet this is four feet the, the edge of this door is 4 feet, right? This edge. So that is 4 and the angle is 45. So then this is 4 cos of 45. And 4 cos of 45 is 2 square root 2, which gives us 2.828 feet. So once we reach here, we need to travel this distance in the negative y. And that is 2 minus, that is in negative j. So that is 2.828. 2.828 in the negative j so this is minus j and then once we reach here we have to travel this distance so this distance is again 4 sine of 45 and 4 sine of 45 will give us the same value which is 2.828 so we have to travel 2.828 distance along the z-axis or parallel to the z-axis so that is in the positive k so i will write plus 2.828 k so this is the moment arm for that force f. This is the Cartesian vector representation of that uh, position vector from A to C. Now let's find uh, the position vector from A to D. We will find the moment by using um, both of these, right? We will compare that whether we get the same moment about point A or not. So now we can find we can find this position vector from A to D by traveling along x, y, and z. So from A, we need to travel this distance in the positive x. This distance is 1.5. So 1.5 distance in the positive i and then this distance. This distance is 3 feet in the positive j. So plus 3 in the positive j and 0. There is no need to travel along the z-axis. So 0 in the k. So that is plus 0k. Now we will find that force f. So that Cartesian vector of that force f. So that is equal to its magnitude. Its magnitude is 80 pound. So I will write 80 pound and then multiply by its uh, unit vector and the force is acting from c to d so the unit vector from c to t so the unit vector from c to d is the position vector from c to d divided by its magnitude 
So then this is 80 and divided by the magnitude of the position vector from C to D. And we will find the position vector from C to D again by traveling along X, Y and Z axis to reach that point D from C. So from C we need to travel this distance 2.828 in the negative K or in the negative Z. So I will write minus 2.828 in the negative K. Then I will travel from this point, I will travel this distance from here to here. So this distance is 3 plus 2.828. And this is along the positive y direction. So 3 plus 2.828 is 5.828. So 5.828 in the positive j. So I will write plus 5.828 in the positive j. Then I will reach here and then I need to travel this distance and that is, this is in the negative x or in the negative i. So 5 feet in the negative i. So I will write minus 5i. So this is the position vector from uh, C to D. Now we can find its magnitude by taking the squares of the magnitude of each component and then taking the square root by using the Pythagoras theorem. So we can write that 5 square plus 5.828 square plus 2.828 square. So this gives us 8.183. So the magnitude is 8.183. So now if I divide this 80 by this answer, so 80 divided by this answer gives me 9.77. So this is 9.77. Or we can say this is 9.776. Let me write it like this. Now we will multiply this 9.776 with each component. So 9.776 multiplied by minus 5. So that gives us minus 48.88 minus 48.88i then multiply by 5.828 5.828 plus 5.828 this is plus so this is 56.97 this is 56.97j and multiply by again minus 2.828 that is uh, minus 2.828 this gives me minus 27.65 minus 27.65 k so this is the cartesian vector representation of that force f which is acting from c to d now we can find that uh, moment about point a by finding the determinant using the cross product method so that is i j and k and now uh, the component of the position vector. So the component of the position vector, uh, first we will use this RAC, which is 6.5 minus 2.828 and 2.828. And then the components of this force F, which is minus 48.88, 56.97 and minus 27.65. So then we will find the, this uh, determinant. So for finding the determinant, we will consider plus with this i, minus with j and plus with k. And then we will hide this and this. So then we will take this product, which is minus 2.828 into minus 27.65 minus this product. That is 2.828 into 56.97. And this will be multiplied with positive i then we will hide this this column and this row so this and this oh, we will we will take this product this is determinant of this sub matrix 6.5 we can write that 6.5 uh, into minus 27.65 and minus 2.828 into minus 48.88 and we will multiply this with minus j. So let me write that minus j like this. This is minus j. And then for k, we have to write this. And we will write it like this. So this is 6.5 into this. 56.97 minus this, this into this. So minus into minus 2.828 into minus 48.88 and this will be multiplied with positive k. 
so now i will use my excel sheet for finding these uh, for finding all these all these components of the moment about point a so this is uh, the this matrix is 6.5 minus 2.828 so i have entered all those values here this is minus 48 minus uh, 48.88 then uh, 56.97 and minus 27.65 so so this gives me minus 82.92 so this is this is minus 82.92 i 41.49 j and 232.07 k so let me write it here this is the moment about point a is uh, minus 82.92 i then this is uh, 41.49 j and then 232.07 so that is plus 232.07 k so this is the moment about point a due to that force f which has a magnitude of 80 pounds and now the units of this uh, moment is since the force is in pounds and the, the distances are in feet so that will be pound feet now if you people want to find the moment about point a using this uh, second position vector this second moment arm so we have determined this second moment arm uh, so we can put that uh, components of that moment arm in this uh, determinant so that is 1.5 1 now this is 3 this is 3 so i will write this is plus 3 this is plus 3 and this is 0 so so now the, this is our matrix so we will apply that same method and then we will find the moment about point a so let me find it directly using my excel sheet so in my excel sheet i will i will change these values this is 1.5 then 3 and then 0 so so we get that same answer minus 82.95 compare it with that with this moment so we will compare it with this so this is uh, minus 82.95 41.48 approximately and this is 232.10 so both give us the same moment about point a so we can use either of these uh, position vectors from for uh, for considering the moment arm for this force f so uh, from a to c and from a to d now in the second problem we are asked to find the moment about point b so then we will define again we will define our moment arm from the point of rotation from b so we can define our moment arm again from b to c or we can define our moment arm as from b to d now for moment about b uh, again we can say that uh, this is my moment arm now so this is the uh, we can say that this is the position vector from b to c and this is that force f let me write that force f vector here so again we have that same force f but we have to find this position vector from b to c so let me write the position vector from b to c so the position vector from b to c is that we need to travel uh, 1.5 feet in the positive x so i will write plus 1.5 in the positive i and then I need to travel uh, this distance. So this distance is 2.828 in the negative y. So that is in the negative j. So that is minus 2.828 in the negative j. And then I have to travel this 2.828 in the positive k direction. So plus 2.828 in the positive k. And we have that same force f vector. Let me write that force f vector here. So that is minus 48.88i plus 56.97j minus 27.65k now the moment about point b about that hinge b is uh, again we can find it by finding the determinant i j and k and that is 1.5 minus 2.828 2.828 and minus 48.88 and minus 27.65 so again we have to consider uh, plus sign minus and plus again we have to repeat the same procedure 
to find that moment about point B. I will uh, use this Excel sheet again. So I will modify my matrix. This is this is here we have uh, 1.5 then minus uh, 2.828 and then again we have uh, this is 2.828 2.828 and we have that same force f vector so we get minus 82.92 minus uh, 96.76 let me write that minus uh, minus 82.92 i then we have uh, minus 96.76 minus uh, 96.76 j and then we have uh, minus 52.78 minus 52.78 k so this is the cartesian vector representation of the moment about point b and the units are again in pound feet and similarly if we use the other moment arm which is which we can consider from uh, the position vector from b to d this could be our second moment arm for finding the moment about uh, this force f about point b so this is from b to d so if we can find the position vector from b to d so to reach that point d uh, we have to travel this distance. We have to travel this distance in the negative x and this distance is 5 minus 1.5. So 5 minus 1.5 is 3.5. 5 minus 1.5, this gives us 3.5. So I have to travel 3.5 distance in the, in, the, in the negative x. So I will write minus minus 3.5 in the negative i so i will reach here and then i have to travel this distance so this distance in the positive i and this distance in this distance is three feet so this is plus three uh, feet in the positive j and there is no need to travel in the k so now this is the position vector or the moment arm from b to d so now we have to modify this uh, determinant so now we can write that this is minus 3.5 this is uh, 3 and this is 0 so now again if I use that excel sheet and if I put this matrix which is uh, minus 3.5 mm, 3 and 0 and that force f remains the same so again we get that same minus 82.95 this is minus 82.92 approximately they are same minus 96.78 and minus 96.7 minus 52.76 right so we get that same moment about point B. So this difference is due to the rounding of, of these values in finding the force vector. So this is the moment about point B, the Cartesian vector representation of that force F about point B. And this is the Cartesian vector representation of that force F of magnitude 80 pound about the point A. So this is the solution of these two problems. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Ingenious Academy if you haven't done it yet.